What is going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today, when I talk to you about Faraday Future Tickers FFIE, I want to give you a breakdown of what the hell is happening to the company. Go over some of the data points, what shorts are doing, and everything else that you need to know. But first, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And with that said, let's get right to it. So right now, it is down 3.28%. So it is continuing this death spiral down. As far as the intraday, it just touched the new 52-week and all-time low. As you can kind of see, $1.30 it's kind of signaling that there was a transaction at $1.30 but this isn't really representing it right now maybe it was very small but as far as volume a lot of eyes are on it so 7.9 million shares being traded 7.3 is the average as far as options activity so currently there is around $37,000 in calls being purchased versus $47,000 in puts so a little bit more downside is anticipated and based on some specifics though if you are optimistic it is anticipated to be above around a dollar fifty in the short term as far as negative it does anticipate to be i guess below a dollar which is a very scary scenario for faraday because essentially if a stock does trade below one dollar for 30 consecutive days then they are back on the non-compliant list for the nasdaq and that means they would get another 180 days to be compliant so faraday just got compliance i think around two weeks ago or last thursday whenever it was so for them to potentially be placed on the chopping block once again is not good especially considering it just underwent a one for 80 reverse stock split so definitely this is not good um, as of right now but as far as big money getting in these are all the transactions as of late so no transactions over one hundred thousand dollars on the secondary market and as you can see dark pool same kind of thing so no transactions since the 25th over one hundred thousand dollars so a lot of smaller ones there was a lot of news that's been coming out kind of good the bad and the ugly all over the place there was news that came out last night though 759 eastern and it just talks on faraday future to host investor presentation webcast and this is going to be today so very last minute uh, kind of scenario going on before 30 pacific i'll record this and play it for you guys um, as well or if you want me to live stream let me know in the comments below i can definitely do that going on their website though i am kind of confused because there is no link to join unless they plan on adding that afterwards but this is the website it does take you to so it says faraday future investor presentation webcast today four o'clock or, or sorry 4 30 pacific goes over the individuals i assume are going to be talking but it doesn't actually say where unless it's going to be through their app but there is no indication to where to join. So who knows? Uh, maybe I might not be able to join. We'll find out ultimately. But when it comes down to it, I think that might be pretty standard stuff. This is their attempt at saving the stock last ditched effort because when it comes down to it, it is in a death spiral. So the company does need to do something ASAP. But there was also news that did come out the day before and that was a very scary scenario. So as you can see, based on the PR, it says right here, Faraday Future announces at the market equity offering program so it does look like there is going to be a dilution you have to factor in they did submit IAS 3 if I remember correctly for 200 million 300 million something like that but it does look like they are offering up to 90 million of class a common stock which is kind of crazy because at the time of this the market cap I believe was around uh, 70 to 80 million something like that so for them to do dilution essentially in the sum of around 90 million that's just like wow that's crazy stuff so the stock went down i think 44 percent yesterday give or take something like that so this is crazy so market cap is now 28.01 million a lot of people seem not to really realize but the nasdaq also does have another aspect to this that i just wanted to share so again based on this it's kind of standard stuff nothing really crazy to write home about so no real toxic lenders this is just straight up from the company but like i said faraday actually just got completely compliant with the Nasdaq so that is the in regards to the one dollar bid price rule there is another thing that could be coming down the pipeline if it does continue to trade how it does and because of yesterday's price action today is officially the very first day actually no my apologies yesterday was the very first day so today is the second consecutive day of it being below 35 million and i'm sure some of you might be wondering what the hell are you talking about cal and that is this so rule 5550 b sub 2 so ultimately there is an aspect in there that essentially if a company is trading below 35 million 
million dollars as far as a market cap, then essentially they could be delisted because of that. So at this rate, Faraday could be potentially delisted eventually, or at least on the chopping block because of this rule. Or if it does continue on this trend and it does go below that $1 mark for 30 days, consecutive days, this is where potentially as well that could be on the chopping block for that $1 bid rule. So once again, uh, the company definitely does need to do something ASAP. So what's your thoughts? Do you think that this presentation is going to help the company or do you think that this is just going to be a fluff kind of PR? So I'll give you a quick overview of what shorts are doing. So currently shorts are increasing 47.88 thousand shares. So the way I interpret this information, the fact that they are increasing on a red day shows that they feel that is justified, which is unfortunate. 31.62% of the free flow is being shorted, which is absolutely crazy. 5.09 million shares overall are being shorted and cost to borrow average is going up a little bit in comparison to yesterday. So 17.52%. As far as looking here, number of retail investors are kind of flat as you can kind of see right there. So not really anything to talk on for that. Stochastic is currently at two. So that is considered very, very oversold, but there isn't any defined trend right now. So let me know your thoughts on Faraday in the comments below. Are you a buyer as of late? Are you selling? What is your take on Faraday? And like I mentioned in the past, a lot of people seem to be under the impression that Faraday is going to have a squeeze. Are you still under that impression? Do you think that's too far fetched? What's your take on all that? Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And as I always say, even though Faraday goes up, down, sideways, all over the place, take advantage of this with Moomoo. Just sign up for an account, throw $100 add it and you get five free stocks. Each stock could be valued up to $2,000. This is only up until September the 30th. Link in the description below and also the comments. With all that said, appreciate all of you watching and let's all make a lot of money eventually, whenever that might be, down the line with Faraday Future.